Can we predict a heart attack and stroke before it happens? Let me introduce you to John, not his real name. He was a prominent state representative and successful attorney and a father of three. At age 53, he suffered a heart attack. He went to his local hospital and he had a stent placed in the main coronary artery. Uh, he was discharged uh, home. However, his journey does not stop here. Could we have predicted that John would have had a heart attack in that particular day, and, or at least he was at a high risk? Have we ever wondered, is it possible to predict a heart attack or strokes years before it happens? For a long time, community has now the atherosclerosis, the buildup of plaque in our artery starts very early, actually in children, and it takes decades for events to occur, heart attacks, strokes, and peripheral vascular disease. Uh, this is what we call subclinical atherosclerosis and has not been in the radar of doctors or even cardiologists, but it's the greatest silent killer, worse even than uh, other silent killer, the high blood pressure. Atherosclerosis, the arterial plaque buildup, the hardening of the arteries, is responsible for number one cause of death in the United States and the Western world. And coronary artery disease has been our number one uh, cause of death in the U.S since 1918, the year of the Spanish flu. Even amidst the global pandemic of COVID in 2021, uh, we had 415,000 deaths of COVID, but we had 700,000 deaths due to coronary artery disease, most of them, at least 50%, sudden cardiac death. How do you know that your arteries are clogged? How do you know that you develop this plaque before symptoms occur? So we actually have now simple tests available that can detect plaque long before it causes trouble. There are four tests we're gonna to address today. Let's start with the coronary artery calcium test. The coronary artery calcium test is also called coronary calcium CT scan or heart CT calcium scan. And it's a game changer in early detection. It's a swift 10, 15 minutes uh, computer tomography so that tells us how much calcium is in your coronary arteries, the pipes that supply blood to your heart. And if it's positive, it signals the presence of a plaque that can narrow or block arteries or become unstable over the long run. So what's on this plaque? Obviously it's calcium, it's cholesterol, it's fat and fiber and other uh, substances. It is this plaque that caused John's heart attack. Who should have the test? People who had family history of coronary artery disease, people at high risk for heart disease or strokes, diabetics, high blood, people with high blood pressure, uh, high cholesterol, smokers, overweight, obese people. And in fact, any uh, adult concerned with the coronary artery disease and uh, clarify if you are an intermediate risk. And how often do you need to have the, the calcium uh, score in test? If the test is normal, meaning the calcium score is zero, you may need to repeat it every three to five years. However, if your calcium score is positive, there is no need and no advantage to keep repeating it. In fact, if you already know you have coronary artery disease, if you have a stent, you have a bypass heart attack, there is no point in doing this screening test. How do you prepare for the test? You don't want to use caffeine or smoking, anything that increases your heart rate before the test because it will give us uh, poor images. Uh, in fact, and sometimes you may need to give you some medication just to slow down your heart rate. What are the results? The results come in a scoring system called the Agatson score. At zero means there are no calcium deposits seen in your arteries. If it's between zero and the handler that is mild, uh, 100 to 400, moderate, more than 400, evidence of severe widespread uh, uh, coronary artery disease. Let's look at the second test. It's called CT and geography, also called computer tomography and geography. It's a test using x-rays to visualize your heart and your coronary arteries, the pipes in your heart. It looks at uh, for blockage in the arteries and it actually can tell you in detail the percentage or degree of blockage. This test gives a really detailed view 
of your ocular arteries and even if you had prior bypass surgery if they are if the grafts are open or not is this test different from the classic uh, coronary angiogram through cardiac catheterization yes indeed the coronary angiogram the gold standard uh, that has been available for uh, many decades we use a catheter that gets into your heart through the artery in the groin or through an artery in your wrist or the radial artery and the coronary arteries are cannulated and the iodine dye is injected to visualize the coronary arteries and take uh, pictures here there is no catheter going into your heart no catheter inserted into your body we just rely on a peripheral iv what are the risks so besides the radiation evolved, there's a possibility of having an allergic reaction to the iodine uh, that is injecting your peripheral vein. Uh, who needs this CT and geography? You, uh, if you have symptoms of coronary artery disease, if you have abnormal stress tests like a cardiogram, or the worsening symptoms of coronary artery disease, your doctor will decide which test is best uh, for you. How do you prepare for the test? Again, do not drink or eat before the test and no caffeine. Let's look at test number three, a carotid ultrasound, also called carotid duplex. Here, there is no radiation involved. We have one carotid artery on each side of the neck and we use ultrasound waves uh, to look at these uh, arteries and uh, uh, check if there is any plaque or thickness or any clots in the coronary arteries. And this will inform us uh, if you have a blockage in the coronary arteries, obviously severe blockage uh, in any of the coronary arteries could lead to a stroke. Who should have this test? It's very safe, non-invasive test. It's suitable really for anybody who risk factors for atherosclerosis, uh, for uh, people who risk for strokes, so high blood, people who have blood pressure, diabetes, high cholesterol, uh, smokers. And if you have a brewery in your neck, it's a sound, unusual sound that uh, your doctor will hear with a stethoscope. And obviously, if you uh, have coronary artery disease, you also want to know if your carotid arteries are affected and it's valuable for monitoring the plaque size, the stability of the time. If you had carotid arthrectomy surgery done to remove plaque in your carotid arteries, if you have a carotid stent, it's used to follow you over time. And there is really no risks to it. And it takes about you know, 30 to 45 minutes. It can be even used in pregnant women. Test number four, the abdominal aortic ultrasound. It's like a carotid ultrasound, but focus on the abdominal artery. The test provides a glimpse into the big artery, carries blood from the heart to the abdomen and the lower extremities to your legs. This test tells us if you, not only if you have plaque, but also if you have enlargement of the artery called an aneurysm that could be a very serious situation. Happens mostly in people who have high blood pressure or older, more than 65. And it tells us also if you have coronary artery disease. And the study done in Finland called the OPER study, they follow 1,007 males over 23 years. And in fact, they looked at a carotid artery ultrasound and abdominal artery ultrasound. And in fact, if you have plaque in any of these arteries, there is a higher risk you're going to have also plaque in your coronary arteries, the arteries in your heart, by an increase of 150 to 180 percent. Remember, if you suspect you having a heart attack, ask uh, to be taken to the nearest emergency room where you can be taken to the cat lab and uh, open the blockage, limit the amount of damage to your heart. If you want to learn the signs of a heart attack, check this video, top warning signs you have in a heart attack. I'll put a link above in the description below. With an array of tests available, which one is best uh, uh, for you? Your doctor uh, will decide. These two tests come to mind. The coronary artery calcium score is inexpensive. Uh, it's a quick 10-15 minutes test and gives you a lot of information. And the carotid ultrasound for those who want to avoid radiation, which tells us if you have uh, any plaque build up on the arteries going from your heart to your head. And if you're at risk of having a stroke, 
potentially coronary disease as well. What happened to John? Uh, regrettably, he had a sudden crack death during sleep one week after he was discharged from the hospital. For John, it's too late. We cannot bring him back, but you can avoid the same fate. And if you want to learn more about sudden cardiac death, watch this video, Top Warning Signs of a Cardiac Arrest. Put the link above in the description uh, below. What if you discover plaque? How do you avoid John's fate? This will be the topic of the next video. And remember your health, your most precious asset. Take control. See you next video.